So, today we're going to be going over various sorts of technologies that can be um, used in a classroom to either show things more eloquently or have the students engage more and absorb more information. Um, the first technology that I want to use or that can be used is a document camera. Document cameras have been here for a long time, exactly since I believe 1986 when Elmo came out with the first document camera. Ever since, it's just been a uprising slope, which, as we can see, makes documents better, document cameras better. One of the affordances to document cameras that everyone used to face before uh, was the fact that the frame rate was very slow. And when you have a slow frame rate that makes what you're showing on the board to the students using the document camera very choppy and it makes it hard to follow. And instead of having students focus on what they're seeing and what's being shown, their, their attention is on, wow, this, is, this thing is very choppy and I can see a I can see my teacher's finger on one side of the screen two seconds ago and then completely disappear two seconds later. And that's simply because of the frame rate. It's too slow, it's not capturing the pictures, it's not, it's not showing, but it's breaking. Um, that's one of the few affordances that I believe document cameras have. Um, but here we are, this is a technology and I think it's very interesting. So as you can see, we're going to be talking about four V4K's ultra high definition USB document camera, which is made by IPVO, which is their slogans as designed for learning. So you can assume that IPVO is a company that wants to aid teachers in their learning, in their teaching, I'm sorry, in their teaching. But hey, teachers never stop learning. Uh, one of the good things about this camera that I very like a lot is that it has a very good, um, a very good megapixel definition, eight megapixels, and that's very good for almost any web camera that you're going to be using nowadays. Most smartphones have twelve MP cameras, and that's that's an amazing camera to have that anywhere, anywhere near that inside a classroom and being able to um, really bring to life many of the books or illustrations that you're going to be showing is something that has no price because students will be learning, you will be getting your job done, and you are going to see students benefit from this. Um, as I mentioned before, this camera has a high frame rate at high resolutions for silky smooth live streaming. Um, let us note that the word live streaming, the words live streaming are used there. And that's another quality that the V4K camera has. It's not only a document camera, um, it can also be used for a web camera. You can use it on Skype to have uh, meetings, conferences. Let's say your computer doesn't, your laptop doesn't have a built in camera, you can just always use this one. Um, it has a built-in microphone as well, which makes it easier and makes it better for when you're recording something using this document camera. You can hear vividly what you're saying alongside what other students are saying. Um, many document cameras have this button, the fat, uh, fast focusing button, which just, which just allows you to put something in front of the document camera. By pressing that button, you make it you help it focus better and faster, and that's important. And an, an, uh, an upgrade about this is that the focus, focusing speed is way faster than it was before. So let's say it takes about five seconds to focus, and others it must take like 10 seconds, especially when you're changing things, like a book, or you're showing something like an object, and you change the distance from how close and how far it was. That tends to mess around with the uh, the, fo the camera's focus. So to have a button that helps you focus and it helps you really like zoom in and have a clear image of what you want to show whenever you want to show and whenever you change things 
is very important because you you don't lose time and you don't you don't lose the student's focus. Um, <clears throat> this is another great quality that the the vo the V four Q camera has document camera has. Many many students remember having document cameras that were very 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 loud, and that was because they were either running on light bulbs or they had like a vent to prevent them from overheating. Well, those days are gone. Pretty much all you have to do with this document camera is as you can see, just stand it up, connect it to a projector, have it connected to a USB cord to your computer, and all the noise you're gonna be hearing is you clicking through the computer and teaching the students. Because there's pretty much no vents, no big vents that make a lot of noise. Um, as we get further in the website, for this product, we get to see that the product itself is, the whole point of it is to be simple, simplicity. Um, as a teacher, the, 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 more, the more simple you are and the better you can explain things without having to go into very circles and repeating yourself, um, the faster you're going to get a main idea out there. And I believe simplicity is something that's very important for almost anything because the simple, the simple the simpler something is, the more likely it is to be understood by everybody. And this is, this is a, an example of that thought. The fact that most of the joints that are stuck together in the document camera can be released and tightened with a coin is something that not many document cameras had before, but they do now. So let's say that you want to change shape or you want to make it go be taller than lower, you can simply just grab a coin, twitch it up, tighten it up, loosen it up, and you get to play around with that. It might be simple, it might look very simple, but it has a lot of benefits to it, and I feel that many teachers can really benefit from this. I've mentioned before that there's a built-in microphone right alongside the camera. Something that I did not mention, though, was that um, the company itself, IPVO, has their own software for their other products, which most of them are document cameras. And their software that they made is called IPVO Visualizer. Um, I can click on the link and see where it takes us. But the whole point of this um, software is that you get to um, do a, a whole lot more things with the document camera that you that you wouldn't have done before. You can record things, you can edit the things once you're done using them, zoom in, crop. There's many things you can do. There's, you can rotate and mirror a picture, manual focus, white balance, exposure, video filters, LED light button, you can freeze, that, that's not new, but you can freeze, focus, grid lines, snapshot, that's something that most standard document cameras would have. Video recording, another standard feature. Scan a KR code. That's pretty cool. Text-to-speech, slow motion recording. These are all things that you normally wouldn't be able to do with a simple document camera that's hooked on the wall and hooked on your computer and connected to a projector. Thanks to this software, you have a lot of things that you can add on to do and work with and play around with as well. I mean, just being able to record, take pictures, and pretty much write on wherever you want of this allows you to take to squeeze out a little bit more than you can just by using this document camera. And I think that's very sweet and it's it's an innovating thing. Many document cameras don't go the extra step to have a software where you can really play around with. It's much, it's, it's usually sim simply just showing a closer look. Um, lastly, we're coming here at the end where it talks about the features, the things that you, you see at first, which is a 8 megapixel camera, which is right here, a microphone that's right there as well. 
high frame rates, streaming up to 30 frame per second, full HD. It's just a great document camera that also happens to be a, a great document camera for many other platforms such as Macs, Windows, Chromebooks. It's great. And lastly, the one of the last things I loved about this website and this product and this company really is that their their point of view and sustainability. Not many private companies nowadays will really care about what they do with their waste or with their product. All they care about is getting the revenue from whatever they're selling. And the fact that this company is used 93.44% of recycling goods and they recovered 98.12% of what they did, of what they sold and gave out, it's simply amazing. It's a good example for private companies to show that just like you are responsible for the making of the goods, you're also re responsible of the retrieving and the recycling of the goods. And there's no better, there's nothing better than teaching this to a teacher who teaches future generations to come and future leaders and future outstanding characters. That what, that it's important to recycle, it's important to to keep your mind open to future things because we only have one world and we must do something to prevent total a total catastrophe just wiping all of us out. And it's a good start by showing the recycling and the recovery of this product. As, I could, as I've said before, I'm a big fan of this camera. I'm a big fan of the microphone. I'm a big fan of the eight megapixel camera as well. The high frame rates just make it makes it even better because it's such a smooth transition on the board or wherever you're showing this literally it's it's a great thing that I think has a lot of potential and with the software they've definitely taken it to the next next step where it's more than just a showing tool but you can you can use it as a way to teach things separately individually and it's not only a oh, I'll use this document camera when I need to show something with my hands, or it's, it's now used as, oh, okay, I can, I can use doc, this document camera for literally any lesson, because I, I can scan documents, I can take pictures, I can record lessons. It's something that if you, if you really want to use and play around with, you can definitely play around with and use it this whole, in your classroom, whenever, whichever. Which is why I'm a big fan and I, re and I love this document camera. First video down, four more to go.